Former head of the iron-fisted Egyptian security forces, Habib Al-Adli, appeared in court Sunday along with six of his police commanders. Ahmed Mohammed Ramzi Abdul Rashid. Adli, wearing a blue jumpsuit of the convicted, is accused of giving the order to kill nearly 850 protesters during the 18-day uprising seven months ago. If convicted in this case, he and his commanders could face the death penalty. Adli was part of Mubarak's inner circle, but to some, the trial is more than Adli. All the regimes from 1952 until now should be held accountable. And if we were ruled by a democratic system and not a dictatorship, then none of this would have happened. Outside from where the trial is taking place, people have gathered to watch the coverage on a large screen television, unlike August 3rd, where all the tension was out here between pro and anti-former regime demonstrators, all the tension for this hearing is inside the courtroom. Multiple terse exchanges between the chief judge and the crowd of attorneys representing the families of victims prompted the judge to call for a break four times. There were questions why Adli's case was separate from Mubarak's, but also some of those beneath Adli who carried out his orders. We had a key demand, which is to join the case of those accused of being directly responsible for this crime with this case so that everything adds up. Meaning today, ex-minister Habib al-Adli and his aides are on trial, but there are also lower-ranking officers who have been accused. Therefore, the two cases should be merged together. Amir Salem, prominent human rights attorney, said the evidence provided is incomplete and there is still more that's needed. The evidence doesn't show who made the order to cut off the cell phone networks. After about three hours, the judge convened the hearing until September 5th, giving more time to review the evidence. Mubarak and his two sons are due for their next hearing on Monday. With protests planned, it's expected that the tension for that hearing will be both inside and outside the courtroom. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Cairo.